Hi everyone, welcome back. We're here on Thursday, September 24th of 2020 in our coffee shop. Let's go ahead and get started with our day. Well, evening, I guess. We haven't even made it halfway. Oh, welcome. Yo, a cup of honey milk, please, right away. All right, so honey milk. Let's go in here. Green tea latte. Okay, we'll just put milk and honey in it. I'm assuming that's what we do because it's not in our catalog as well. So let's hope they like it. Your honey milk is ready. Thank you. You're welcome. They're real chatty. Really chatty. <laughs> hey, it's Freya. Hey, Maddie. Seem like, seems like there's a cat. Oh my god, she got in with me. Relax, it's okay. Hey, kitty cat. What are you looking for? Want some milk? Oh! Hi, barista. Yes, I'd love some milk. Holy... You look like you've just seen a ghost. No, I mean, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. It's been a while since the last time I saw a Miko... Miko Mimi? It's been a while since I last saw a Miko transforming. We rarely do that in public. I guess you don't have that many Miko friends. I won't say I have. You folks usually use your feline form to commute, if I'm not mistaken. That's right. Well, commuting as a cat sounds more practical than commuting as a you, I mean, than commuting as a bipedal form? Kind of. Anyway, before we continue, can I have my milk, please? Ah, uh, I'm sorry, what kind of milk do you want? Just milk. No additional stuff or anything? Nope. Milk and nothing else. Milk, milk, milk. All right. Fresh milk for the lady with the pretty smile. Thank you. Are you hitting on an underage girl? I was just giving her a compliment. Thank you for the compliment. It's really good. You're welcome. What's a young girl like you doing alone in this sleep? I'm not a young girl. I'm a grown-up who can take care of herself. Uh, you don't look that grown-up. What? I'm 18. Yeah, that's exactly what I'd call too young. Well, I'm not an old lady like you, for sure. Besides, I've been earning a living since I was 13 years old, so I'm definitely not a kid anymore. How? I'm sure you know. Uh, I don't. Oh my, are you? Just say it. If this is something illegal, or are you are in danger, blink twice. Really? With a cute face like mine? Exactly. Seriously, you've never seen me on TV or social media? I don't want to sound like a snob, but I don't watch mainstream media. <laughs> snob. Part of the broke but woke movement, I see. You must be the broke part. I don't see you ordering any drinks. What, too broke for a cup of coffee? Haha. <laughs> She's not that great for business, no. Oh, really? Sometimes I wonder, could this coffee shop survive without me? What are you waiting for, Grandma? Make your order. Is this some kind of maid cafe experiment or something? So, what do you want to order? The usual. It's coffee and espresso, right? Oh, it's just black coffee. That's right. I'm 99.9% .9 sure. There you are, Freya. Your espresso is ready. Hmm, as good as usual. Glad you like it. Wait a minute. You do look familiar. 
Are you an pop guru? Are you Rachel Florencia? The member of Super Smiles who just graduated and started her solo career? Uh-huh. You're not a lost cause after all, Grandma. That brings us back to my first question. What the hell are you doing here? Drinking milk. <laughs> I'm serious. But you can see it with your own eyes, right? I'm really here to drink milk. How come this coffee shop attracts so many weird people? Well, while you... What? Well, while we do have a lot of unusual customers, this is the first time we've had a famous celebrity visit to drink milk, no less. Yay, achievement unlocked. No, seriously. I literally got an achievement unlocked by her saying, yay, achievement unlocked. <laughs> Why are you here? Well, you know, the usual young folks problems. I had a fight with my father, and so here I am. Ah, I see. But is it okay for a celebrity like you to be out alone this late? You don't need to worry about me. I can turn into a cat. No, I'm really worried. Anyway, what happened? My dad, we got into an argument. He doesn't like my line of work. He always says my profession, he always saw my profession as something negative. But I love what I'm doing. What about your mother? What are her thoughts about your career choice? Oh. She passed away a few years ago. I'm sorry to hear that. It's all right. Your dad know anything about the entertainment industry? He used to work in showbiz decades ago. So yeah, he does know a thing or two. Oh my gosh, this shop is busy tonight. Oh, hey, it's Georgie. Good evening, Maddie. Good evening, girls. I've never met before. I just saw you yesterday. Just kidding, Freya. Anyway, Maddie. Yes, officer? I need something for my sore throat. Can you get a brother a cup of green tea with lemon and honey? Of course. Green tea with lemon and honey in it. There you go, buddy. Anything for you, Georgie. Serve. Your special jink is ready. Well, 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 what do we have here? It's my special cough syrup. What do you call it? Er, cough syrup? <laughs> of course you do. Let's see whether this drink tastes as good as it smells. Damn, this is great. How's your day going? Anything out of the ordinary on your patrol? Yeah, anything interesting today? Actually, I witnessed something scary on my shift today. Tell me, tell me! You sure you want to hear it? Yes! The scary thing I witnessed was my salary. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah, today is payday. And I checked the ATM during my shift. Such a horrible sight. Other than that, a labor union protest, everything is fine though. How can you say it's fine? We got a young celebrity lurking around by herself. Ain't that strong proof that this area is safe? Hey. Thank you for the drink and a place to sit. I'm going back now. Oh, thanks for coming. Hope you enjoyed your time. Uh-huh. Okay. Gone with the wind, he is. She is. Somebody is. Who the hell was that? She- oh, it's a she. Okay, sorry. She just sat there and read. I'm pretty sure that's normal in a coffee shop. I mean, you always do that when you're here writing. I guess you're right. Anyway, where were we? Oh, yes. What are you doing here, young lady? It's pretty late, you know. I don't have anywhere else to go, and this place looks cozy. I see. So you basically wanted to go to a bar, but you're underage, right? How did you know? You can read night that You can read minds now, old man. I have a daughter around her age. It's easy to translate what they say, especially when you have to deal with them every day. I don't know why you're here, but everything's gonna be okay. You can forget all your problems while you're here. Dude, you're a cop. It's not his job to take care of someone else's daughter. He is a cop. That is exactly his job. Relax, Freya. Don't be so uptight. Yeah, 
Mr. Policeman here made me feel so much safer already. You know it yourself, Freya. This place is very safe. Right, Officer Georgie? Of course, this is the safest place around here. Hey, that endorsement comes with a discount, right? <laughs> what? Don't look at me that way. You're a cop, old man. Act like one. I deal with crimes and public safety. How should I know how to handle someone else's daughter? You should know. You're a father yourself. Oh, right. Guys, you know I can hear you, right? Really? See, Freya? She has good hearing. That should help her protect herself anyways, Miss Rachel. Miss Rachel, what brings you here? As I've told the others, I had a fight with my dad. Why are you laughing? Me and my daughter fight every day. Hey, why would you say that? Because it's true. I've fought a lot with my kids. That's normal. In fact, whenever we finish arguing about something, we become closer as a family. Huh? Because when we... What? Because when things have calmed down, I learn something about them. And they learn something about me as well. As long as we don't leave things unsolved, an argument makes things better. But it happens so often. Tonight was just one among countless others. He wasn't like this before. Before it happened. You mean before your solo career? No, before mom passed away. What happens after each fight? Hmm, nothing. We just don't talk about it until another fight starts. Unresolved problems are dangerous. It ain't that easy. But you gotta understand each other better. And as much as I hate to admit it, conflict is always the best way to know someone even your own blood. But it was never this bad when mom was around. She's the only one who understood me, and she also understood your father. Maybe him and your mom had also had arguments, but your mom acted as a mediator between the two of you. That's possible. Now that mom's gone, I don't have anyone to act as my guardian. And your dad, he lost his best negotiator. Wait a second. You said that this has happened a lot, but why did you run this time? My daughter never ran away. Wait, maybe it's because I'm the one who always runs away. <laughs> Using my job as an excuse. I can confirm that. Yeah, I run here a lot, but yeah, I hate to tell you again. You both gotta resolve your issues. Unresolved problems are dangerous in any relationship. I kinda understand what you're going through though, Rachel. I also ran away when I was younger. Are you on good terms with your parents now? I am. When and how did it happen? To be honest, I'm not even sure myself. It just happened. Maybe I should run even further. I mean, I have my own income. I don't really rely on my dad. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend that. Why? I'm an adult. No adult would ever say I'm an adult. Just give yourself time to think, Miss Rachel. And try to understand your father's perspective. I'm sure both of you will be able to solve this, like adults. You don't need to rush it to a decision. I'm not sure about that. Just take your time. But now, now I would recommend you just go home. It's really late. I need to go home as well. I can give you a ride, but you don't need to talk to your father right away. Just go straight to your room. At least knowing you're safe, your home safe will give him some peace. That will allow him to think more clearly about everything. You're right. You really are a cop, Georgie. Of course I am. So, where do you live, Miss Rachel? In the western part of Nico Town. Oh, that's quite far. You're still going to drive me home, though, right? Old man. Of course I will. Should I drive you home too, Miss Freya? No, you don't have to. I'm riding my bike. Are you sure? 100% sure. Okay, we'll be off then. Thank you, Maddie and Freya. Take care on your way home. See you around, Maddie. Whew. And there they went. Yes, you can stay longer if you want. Nah, it's fine. I also have to call it a day. How's the riding, by the way? It's getting there. That's nice to hear. I'm juggling a lot of work, though. Barely made my deadlines. I don't know if I can keep this up. Why don't you just come clean? Tell your boss about the publishing offer. 
Who knows? Maybe she'll understand. Yeah, right. Great job, Freya. Here, take some money. Go take a vacation and finish your novel. In your dreams. I'm not exactly employee of the month. You never know. You never know I might end up on the chopping block. Oh, the pressure. I'm sure about one thing, though. This coffee shop has a lot of stories to tell. So yeah, I'll probably be back tomorrow. The door is always open for you. Haha, <laughs> I bet it is. Okay then, take care. Be careful on your way home. Alright everyone, that's gonna be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed this one. It kind of seems like it was a little bit shorter than all of the others, but that's okay. We will be back with another episode soon. Talk to you later. Thank you.